name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now? Well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. All right, he's online. Are you receiving me? Eric, what have you got? Ah, Zanik, as promised. Good. Who's the contact? Oh, some lower echelon female exec with a suitcase full of money. Nice work. I'm on my way. Hmm. Zanik Intergalactics, this is it, Lynn. Once these guys are in, it's only a matter of time. You are pure genius, Reeve. So what does that make me? Don't answer that. You can be genius number two, Tong. Mm-hmm. Y'all set? The key's ready. Let's go get those credits. Damn it, Tong. When are you gonna realize that money is the root of the whole problem? Hey, I know. I was just kidding. Changing the system is no joke, Tong. Scanners receiving loud and clear. Reeve, it's time. If anything doesn't seem right, get out of there. Team patrol stuff. You're late. Wasn't easy to find. Who's a kid, Eric? You wanted to meet the main man. You're the supplier? Well, it's changing, lady. Nice office. Nice pen. All right, let's get started. I gather Arak has told you about the advantages of this system. I wouldn't be here if he hadn't. No. Let's see. 
Xenic into Galactics. And your main competitor, Vortex Industries. Hardly a secret. How about this? Vortex is going public. We suspected that. Yeah, well, now you know. With one of these keys, you can access any mainframe on the planet. I haven't found a code it can't crack yet. Whatever your business needs. Not bad. I could do a lot of damage with one of these. Whatever. I assume cash will be acceptable. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Mind if I use your desk? Not at all. I'll leave my pen back. That's sweet. Keep it. All right, you got him. Way to go, Janie. This is broken to all units. I repeat, all units. We're knocking off for dinner. A meal break call in a cloaked frequency? Uh, I don't think so. Breathe. Warn him. Yeah. Well, I guess that's everything. It's over. You're under arrest. Come on, help him. And read him his rights. You have the right I to need remain to silent. Okay, Lieutenant, we have a result. Anything you say or think can be recorded. Nice job. You had us worried there for a second, Castle. Just another hard day at the office. You did well out there. Thanks. Are you all right, Mr. Gushin? Uh, fine, office. Come on, get I up. Think. All right, I'll meet you back at the station. Take him away. you're doing it's over lynn reeve's gone he's not gone he'll talk shut up he'll never talk friends are everything he wants us to continue the work okay but without reeve what in deep space can we do get him back how i don't know you're genius number two Aldane, where? No, it's a surprise. I don't like surprises. You're too bad, Castle. It's my way or the highway. And you just keep your mind out of this. Hey, what you guys get up to is none of my business. Okay, I'll take the highway. What's wrong with you? Well, maybe I'm just tired of your games, Aldane. Okay, let's uh, get on with it. Okay, let's get started. For the record, I'm reminding you that anything you say or think can be recorded and may be used against you in a court of law. Well, Reeve Pataki, you're in a lot of trouble here. Don't you get it, cop? You're the one in trouble, you and your corrupt system. We know this key will infiltrate closed mainframe systems. No. Apparently you designed it. If you say so. And we're attempting to sell it to an undercover officer. I was set up, and you know it. We already know that you've sold several of these keys before. We can do this two ways, Reeve. We can charge you with systems espionage, mainframe trespass, industrial sabotage, illegal trading, and conspiracy to defraud. Sweet. No, not so sweet. The way the courts are today, you could get 40 years. That'd make you what? About ready to collect your pension when you got out. Oh, you cooperate. 
Let us dismantle your operation. Give us names of any or all of your associates. Associates. We're not businessmen. We're friends. Who's we? You'll find out soon enough. Oh. Anything? Yeah, the KTB. The Carol Tarek Brigade. Tarek was the leader of a group of obstructionists in the early days of colonization. Ah, let me guess. This Tarek character is some kind of spiritual guide for you and your so-called friends. Oh, man. You know, the longer you keep this up, the deeper you're going to bury yourself. Your father is Glenn Pataki. Oh, that impresses you? Not particularly, but you obviously don't need the money. Your father's a very rich man. Yes, and he got that way by ripping off the working classes. People like you. So why'd you do it? Do what? You sure we want to do this? There's a lot more at stake here than just Reeve. There it is, the 88th Precinct. <laughs> it's nice to be surprised. Not by Jack Haldane. Do you remember last eclipse? I spent a week's salary in that outfit, and where did we end up? Magma wrestling in some wolf district warehouse. Says he never deals. Not even for money. Yeah, so why is he trying to sell this key thing? I don't know. We think he's some kind of intergalactic anarchist. Yeah, well, doesn't everybody? Hmm. You ever heard of Carol Tarek? Tarek, Tarek. Oh, yeah, that uh, slam ball player that got nailed for shaving points? Yeah, close. Tarek was some kind of revolutionary. He's a big hero to kids like Bataki who think they're going to overturn the system. I think I need to overturn him. Eh, nah, we'll just let him sweat it out in his cell for a while. Fire alert! Fire alert. Emergency, Emergency personnel, personnel to level 7. That's us. Repeat. Yeah, why is that always happening? Shit. Level 7. Come on, come on. Automatic, Automatic sprinkler system, system failure. All elevator operations suspended. Access to these. Like taking candy from a baby. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, you guys, let's go! Now for the adult part. Would the officer on cell duty please prepare cell number four? Cell number four for new prisoner arrival. Yes. Okay, let's go. Come on, get moving, guys. Hey, what's going on? Open this door. Let's hope that worked. Have faith, Lynn. Long time no see, babe. You never call. What kept you? No time for that now. Go down the hall to your left. Take the elevator to level one. Turn right toward the docking bay and get the hell out of there. Love you, Lynn. What's going on? I don't know. Where's the fire? What, what fire? fire? Fredo. Yes, Lieutenant. Yeah, false alarm. Must have been a mainframe malfunction. I'll get slow-mo and Karsten right on it, Lieutenant. Nice outfits, guys. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> hey, the elevators are working. Yeah, so? I'm not sure. Let's go check the cells out.
Hey, I'm locked in here. Come on, guys. Let him out. Come on, open the door. Fredo, seal the docking bays. We got to run away. Jane, Tuck, it's broken. What are you doing? It's not me. Override it. I'm trying. Come on, Reeve, where are you? Damn. When? I'm stuck in the docking bay. You gotta get the doors open. Reeve, look out! Why do you think we left the cruiser door open, Reeve? Oh, mother. Not exactly. You're not as bright as you thought. You will live to regret this, cop! I've tried every possible route. I can't even get a connect. Why the hell not? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the dumb cops figured out the one thing they could do to stop us from getting in. What? They turned their darn system off. Any change? He's still not talking. All right, people, settle down. This is turning into a real problem. Settle down. Lieutenant. Uh, I assume everybody's seen this uh, inner office on the KTB outfit? Yeah, KTB. I saw it chalked up on a wall in the Gilmore District. I couldn't figure out what it meant. Well, we know it means the Carol Tarek Brigade, and obviously they're trying to get Reef Pataki back. Whoever these people are, they're not stupid. Somehow they've broken into our mainframe. That means you won't be making or receiving any screen calls for the time being. Uh, the good news is multicoms are still functional. They're on a different system. So, even if these kids are listening in, they won't be able to access the mainframe. The bad news is, without satellite communications, we've lost our collision warning systems. So, we're back to good old-fashioned proximity sensors, which means everybody, yes, <laughs> good old-fashioned watch shifts. Uh, uh, Judy Rosser is posted in the main office. Uh, uh, Do we have any information about the Pataki kids' confederates? Well, since, um... Officer Romex seems familiar with the urban gorilla scene. I thought I'd put him and Oren on that. <laughs> okay, people, let's get to it. I've already seen the road to win late watch. We better go straight off and get some rest. Yeah, nice one. It's not my fault. I only asked them a question. You and your big mouth. Leave me alone. We have to keep asking ourselves, what would Reeve do? I don't know. What would Reeve do? Tom, you're a genius. Are we back inside the system? I uh, know, I'm afraid not. I just downloaded a whole load of these cop files when we first logged on. Maybe there's something here we could use. Wait a minute, are these personnel files? Yeah, it looks like it. Can you call up the female cops? Sure. Stop there. Back one. That's the one. That's her. <sighs> what do you mean? I know what Reeve would do. Stop asking me for advice. Like I said, what you and Haldane do is none of my business. Tookie, if I tell you Haldane's no good for you, you argue with me. If I tell you Haldane's the greatest thing that ever happened to you, you argue with me. I can't win. I was only asking you about a dress. That's not what you were asking me about, and you know it. Listen, if I can't talk to my flatmate, who can I talk to? I don't mind it when you talk to me. What I do mind is that whatever I say, you don't want to hear it. That's not true. I do listen. Go ahead, say something. Okay. You should call up Haldane and tell him you love him. 
Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm going to the store. Fine with me. And do the dishes. And what if I don't love him? generates over 2,000 volts. Freeze! Isn't that what you cops say? Stand up. Which position is stun? And which is kill? I've been thinking you were right. If you can talk to your roommate, who can you talk to? Jenny? Jenny? Okay, Lynn. Now you sit down. Genius number two, remember? This came in five minutes ago. It's really very easy. The KTB don't want to harm anyone. But we will if we have to. What we do want is a simple exchange. Reeve Pataki for Officer Castle. We'll contact you again at noon. Did you manage to trace it? Yep. Came direct from Castle's Multicom. I should have been there. It's nobody's fault, Took. What do you think, Brogan? Well, obviously, we don't know what they're gonna do, but... I mean, I don't think they're gonna hurt her. They're idealists, not murderers. Come on, Brogan. The world is full of idealists that have killed people. We gotta make the trade, Captain. We can't negotiate with terrorists, Haldane. You know that. These aren't terrorists. They're a bunch of kids playing at it. We make the trade now and take them down later. If word hits the street that the 88th can be blackmailed, every cop in Demeter will be put at risk. All right. Dismiss. So, I want you to go straight home. But, sir, I really That's think I should... That's an order. There's nothing you can do here right now. Yeah. friends kidnapped a police officer. Kidnapping? Ooh, that sounds serious. Listen to me, you smug little punk! If one thing happens to her! 
kid's father's here to see him. Sit down. You're not helping Jane any here. What do you want me to do? Your job. Son? Well, well. We live and learn. I didn't know the devil made house calls. You're in a lot of trouble. What's the matter? You worried about the bad publicity? Actually, I'm worried about you. Oh, is that a fact? You're only about 20 years too late. All right. Here's what we're going to do. First, I post bail and get you out of here. Then I get you the best lawyers money can buy. Yeah, that's right. Just throw money at the problem. That'll solve it for sure. I am trying to help you, Reeve. All you have to do is tell them where your friends are. Never. Friends are everything. I don't want your money, old man, or your help. What have you become, Reeve? Your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna bring every big fat cat capitalist in this galaxy to his knees. And if you go down with them, so much the better. In that case, I can't help you. Looks like the ball's in your court, boys. That is if you want your friend back. Time's up. Let's get back online. You got it. Of course we want Officer Castle back, but as I told you before, Police policy categorically prohibits me from exchanging hostages for prisoners. Since when have cops cared about police procedure? In cases like this, there are no exceptions. We'll make one. Well, that won't be easy. I'll have to call my superiors again. That'll take time. Well, you better be quick, Captain. Time's running out. So, call. Hey, man, he's trying to buy us more time here. Where the hell are Aaron and Romek? They're stalling. The stupid, dumb cops are just buying their time. They're probably tracking us down right now. We talked to the students, the professors, and the administrators this morning. Two names kept popping up. Lynn Dilfer and Tom Coop. They both quit college around the same time as Reeve. Nobody's heard from him since. As far as we know, all three were inseparable. Who gave you the photos? The parents. We went there after the college. Yeah, what'd they say? Uh, neither family's had any contact for almost a year. Just like Reeve. Yeah, great. So we still don't have squat. The photos are something, Haldane. I don't know. Maybe we could give them to the media. Somebody's bound to have seen oh, them. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. They see their picture panic and start pulling the trigger. Enough! Now, listen. We've got what they want. Reeve Pataki. They know for certain that we're not going to trade him for Castle which means that the ball is in their court. And what do we do? Just sit around and wait? You're through for today, Haldane. Get out of here! Don't talk to me until you're ready to make a worthwhile contribution to this case. My pleasure. They'll never find us here. But what if Reeve does talk? We already discussed that, Lynn. You said it yourself. He'll never talk. Okay, then, genius. So what would Reeve do now? What was that? I don't know. You know you're wasting your time. We modified the release mechanism. It only works from the outside. In case we get tired of you. Not much fun being locked in a cell, is it? Well, you better get used to it. Seems like none of your friends want you back. That's it. What? I just figured out what Reeve would do. Friends are everything. Officer Took. Yes, what do you want? Same as always. Our friend for yours. Look, 
Whoever you are, you're wasting your time. There's nothing I can do. That's not true, Officer Took. You can help your friend more than you think. Then I think it's only fitting that you decide whether she lives or dies. What do you want me to do, Janie? Um, I'm sorry, Matt. What'd you say? Mom wants to know when you're coming home, Dad. You're starting to look kind of scruffy. <sighs> Where's your mom? In the shower. Uh, Matt, uh, tell her it's going to take as long as it takes. She's not going to be happy. Just do it, Matt. Tukey, what are you doing here? How are you holding up, Took? Yeah, I'm fine. I feel fine. Any news? I know. You know what we do. Nothing. I have to go see Podley. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I know it's official policy not to negotiate with terrorists, sir. Just as I know it's the right policy, but there's an officer's life at stake here. No, sir. Uh, of course not, sir. Yes, yes, I, I understand. Yes, sir, if you could, I, I would be most grateful. Thank you, sir. Hey, Tuck, how you doing? What brings you down here? Reef Pataki. We're moving him out of the precinct. Security. Paypork's taking its time, what with the system being down and all. Huh, tell me about it. Captain wants me to pick him up anyway. Oh, well, whatever the captain wants. The sooner we get his butt out of here, the sooner things will get back to normal. Yeah. solve any of your problems, you know. Never mind that. Just get going. Wait a second, Tuck. Lieutenant. Captain wants me to move the prisoner to the 38th. He asked me to make the run. Yeah, I know, but the plans have changed. Oh, right. Put him back in his cell. We'll be back in a while. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. That's what I like about you guys. You're so decisive. They contacted me at home. Reeve's friends. They said I had two hours to free him or they'd kill Jane. It was her last chance. Why don't you tell us, Dougie? You'd have stopped me. You have stopped me. She didn't do it. Reeve isn't coming. We don't know that. Give her time. She's out of time. We told them we didn't want to hurt anybody. But these damn cops... Come on, Lynn, stop it. We have to keep reminding ourselves what would Reeve do. Don't you tell me what Reeve would do. I'm in charge now. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. If we can't have him back, then they sure as hell ain't gonna have Officer Damn Castle back. 
What are you gonna do? Kill her. You can't do that, Lynn. What's stopping me? Reeve, we haven't exhausted all our options yet. All right, Captain Podley. We've tried all the easy, painless ways. But you've made it complicated. You see, we really must have Reeve back. So, the escape pod you can see has been hermetically sealed. We've disconnected the air supply. All in all, I'd say Officer Castle has about an hour left. Eva Reeve is released. Or you can just sit there and watch your friend die of suffocation. The choice is yours. God damn it, I've had enough. Where are you going, Haldane? Come back here! Go after him! Haldane? They're on the old communications platform outside Quadrant 7. Don't ask. Scanner, Tom. Relax. It's just another scavenger. Scavenger K-38. We're all set here. Moving off. Quick. How long do you think she's got? It's already too late. We gotta stop this, Lynn. What are you gonna do? Turn the air back on. No, you're not. We're not murderers, Lynn. And we're not friends anymore. No, Lynn, please. No, no. Freeze! Police! Drop the gun! Drop it! Where's Officer Castle? You're too late, officers. Your friend's already dead. Janie! Come on. Come on, Janie. Don't do this. Janie! I need you. Come on, Janie. I can't live without you. Janie! Janie, come on. Come on. Okay, Lieutenant, we're back online. Everybody hear that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, back to work. Okay. So what's Pops doing here? Uh, the kid's got a preliminary hearing in court today.
grieve. I set up that meeting for you with the lawyers, the ones that specialize in this sort of stuff. I thought that when this is over... I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I just want you to know that. Come on, let's go. You know, sometimes I forget. What do you mean? What a hell of a responsibility it is being a parent. Your kids are born, you make choices, you do the best you can. But in the end, all you can really do is just sit back and hope for the best. Officer Haldane? Slow mo. You about ready? Willing and able, Officer Haldane. All right, give me five minutes. All right, I'm ready to go. Relax. I'm okay. I want to keep you under observation for at least 26 hours. Carson, I'm fine. Humor me. Jane, when are you going to start listening to good advice? I'm listening. See you later. Okay. This is what I think you should do. Oh, I'm not listening. Oh. Castle, what's this I hear about you missing our date? You know what I think you should do. I'll see you later. Bye. Sorry about the date, Jack. Blame Carson. Yeah, oh well. You know, let me, uh, let me ask you something. Did you, by any chance, happen to hear anything I was saying last night when you were coming around? Why? Did you say something interesting? Nothing, really. Da! Ah, Guff song! See who play. Mademoiselle, if you would be so kind as to peruse the menu, I'm happy to take your order. I can recommend the simple squab today, and the Arkans are particularly sweet. Thank you, slow mo. Well, if you can't take Muhammad to the magma wrestling. How Dane. Hmm. What? Every word. What do you mean? I heard every word you said last night. <laughs> you did. Mm-hmm. <laughs>